ハローエブリワンウェイカムトゥジェイシーヨーヘイ先生です So today, have you ever seen these two symbols? This one is called a Kuten Kuten which means Japanese period and this one is called a Toten Toten which means Japanese comma These are really useful to separate the sentences and make them easier to read. And the rule for use of kuten is really simple. Mm. Just really simple. Just put it to the end of the sentences and that's it. It's alright. It's almost the same as English period. On the other hand, do you know how to use toten, Japanese comma, correctly? Mm. If you can use this one correctly, Your sentence will be quite easy to read and get close to a like, Japanese native writer. Okay, so today let's study how to use comma, Japanese comma. Okay, so are you ready? Here we go! So, point one to separate the long sentence. Hmm. When you make the long or like complicated sentence, you can use Japanese comma to make it easier to read. For example, Yohei 先生はケーキは好きだが野菜は嫌いです。洋平先生はケーキは好きだが野菜は嫌いです。Mm. This sentence is a little bit long, so you can divide it into two parts by using Japanese comma.、Mm. So, where do you think I should put Japanese comma? Correct answer is here.、Mm. So, the first part is I like cake. Yohei sensei likes cake. But doesn't like vegetables. So you can divide into two parts by using Japanese comma. Then, if we use comma, the sentence is getting easier to read. So again, toten, Japanese comma, is useful for dividing the long or like complicated sentences into two parts. And The Japanese comma makes the long sentence easier to read. Okay, so point two to separate the tricky sentence.、Hmm. What's tricky sentence? So please look at this sentence. So if you put Japanese comma here, you can put ここで履物を買います。ここで履物を買います。Hmm. So it means I will buy. Footwear here. Hakimono means footwear. On the other hand, if you put Japanese comma here, you can read ここでは着物を買いますここでは着物を買います I will buy 着物 here. So 着物 means like Japanese typical clothes. Also here.、Mm. This is a really funny phrase. If you put comma here, パン作ったパン作った、ね、It means, did you, make a, did you make bread? Did you make bread? But if we put comma here, パンツ食ったパンツ食った Did you eat underwear? No way. So you need to use Japanese comma to avoid misreading. So, point three. To use the same pattern of words in one sentence. For example, please look at this sentence. Watashi wa inu, neko, usagi, kirin, gorilla ga suki desu. Watashi wa inu, neko, usagi, kirin, gorilla ga suki desu. In this case, these nouns are in the same group as an animal. Right? So, you can put、uh, commas for each animal, like this. Okay. If you don't use comma, it's really hard to read. Watashi wa inu neko usagi kirin gorilla ga suki desu. Inu neko usagi kirin gorilla ga suki desu. Oh, it's so hard to read. So, you can put for each noun. So, this point is not only noun, but also Like verbs and any other forms, adjective and other verbs. For example, this sentence. 昨日は
テレビを見たりゲームをしたり音楽を聴いたりしました。昨日はテレビを見たりゲームをしたり音楽を聴いたりしました。ね、These actions, these verbs are used as in like parallel structure.、ね、parallel structure. So you can put Japanese commas for each action to make them like easier to read. Okay, so this way of using is totally same as English comma. These are like three main important points when using Japanese comma. Is that clear? So today we learned how to use Japanese comma, totem. And we checked three important points. The first, to separate the long sentence. And second, to separate the tricky sentence. パン作った。パン作ったパン作った。And last, to use the same pattern of words in one sentence.So, if you master the totem, your writing level will be dramatically improved.So, from now on, please be careful about the position where you should put Japanese comma, totem.So, I hope this short lesson helped you understand how to use Japanese comma. This JC channel introduces the Japanese basic phrases that are often used in daily conversation. If you have any questions or comments or requests, please write down in the box below. So, thanks for watching today and see you next time. Sayonara! Pants, kutta! Pants, kutta! Pants, kutta! Pants, kutta!